Hi everyone, I'm Zoe. I'm the product experience lead. Um, I'm going to quickly walk you through our sprint goals and then hand over to some of the team to give a little bit more. So if you could go next slide, Adrian, please. So we had four main sprint goals this sprint. Um, one of them was a big piece of discovery work with hierarchy that we're helping um, the educational solution teams with. So all of the interviews have been completed and the co-design workshop, which went really well. Um, thank you to all of the teams that got involved in that. I'm sure you all found it really valuable and it's so interesting to hear directly from our users. So I'm, I hope that you'll continue to do that. And then our .org user testing. So the analysis and reporting is still um, coming along. We should have that wrapped up in the next little while. Um, I know that Satara is working with Fedi on getting that completed over the coming days. And then the gradebook support in terms of um, analysis from Helen and UX writing from Julia is continuing, as well as the experience lab. So we have managed to decide on a tool that we're going to be using to help us manage our panel, which is really, really exciting. Um, and we'll have that beginning the new year. So we're just sorting out all of the contracts, et cetera, with that. And we're really excited to be able to go out to all of the people that have signed up for the lab um, and let them know that we're ready to go and also help you guys be able to access all of the users a bit more um, seamlessly. And then Julia has also been helping to draft all of the initial comms that will help us get up and running a bit more quickly because it's a lot of workflows that we need to consider um, when we're dealing with a lot of people in a panel. And so we've been working on drafting all of those. So we can get up and running in the new year as quick as possible. I'm going to hand over to Julia first, I think. You're ready? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Julia and I'm a UX writer at Model HQ. Um, Adrian, can you move to the next slide, please? Thank you. So during this sprint, um, besides supporting some of the product teams with their projects, we have also reviewed over 100 new and changed language strings um, to get them ready for the release of Moodle 4.1. That those are strings um, from projects developed by the community. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Helen because she did a great job um, with this. So thank Helen. Um, we also shared uh, the process of how to work with the UX writing label in Tracker internally for now because we want to test how that works with the Moodle HQ stuff, and we're working on how to share with this with the community and be able to support the community as well with um, UX writing. Um, you can check out the post, uh, by the way, in the Moodle products um, course in the HQ site, and please reach out to us if you have any questions about this. Um, and the next slide, please. Yeah, um, while working with the Alpha team on Gradebook, we noticed some inconsistencies in how we use uh, surname and last name in Moodle, um, which are used interchangeably. Um, so we did some research and we found that last name is much more common in software. Uh, it is much more used in Moodle plugins. It is consistent with the placeholder in the code and offers more flexibility when um, we're designing experiences. So we have updated all surname instances in Amos to last name. And that's it from me. Thank you. That's all from us, Adrian, unless there's any questions.